Good morning. So today's topic will be about dressmaking tailoring. So let's have this classification of sewing tools. We have five classification of sewing tools. Um, first up, let's have measuring tools. In this classification, we have three tools. They are ruler, tape measure, and French curve. So ruler and tape measure, they are both used for obtaining measurements. Um, for ruler, handy sewing materials, and for tape measure, body measurements. And for French curve, this is used for obtaining measurements that are in curved areas like armhole and neck hole. Second one, let's have drafting tools. In this classification, we have three tools, namely T-square, pencil, and pattern paper. T-square is used for drawing parallel lines or um, setting it into right angles, lines that have that needs to be in um, fair squareness, fair square. Pencil used for writing in our pattern. We do not use pens because if we use pens, then if we have mistakes, it would be hard for us to erase it. Then pattern paper, this is where we draft our pattern. Um, the good example of pattern paper is manila paper. Then for the third one, we have marking tools. In this classification, we have three tools, namely tracing wheel, tailor's chalk, and dressmaker's carbon paper. So tailor's chalk, these serve as a marker. We use this to mark our fabrics or sewing materials. Tracing wheel and carbon paper, this is for tracing the pattern to transfer it on the wrong side of the fabric since our pattern is only good for the right side then the fourth one we have pinning tools we have five tools here needles pins emery bug pin cushion and thimble so needles we have different sizes and shapes as also with pins for thimble, this is used for protection in our fingers. This is worn during hand sewing to avoid our fingers from pricking. Then emery bug and pin cushion, this will hold our ne needles and pins. Um, they have quite the same function, but only emery bug inside it is sand or powdered glass so that our needles and pins will maintain its sharpness and it would be rust free. Then the last one we have cutting tools. We have five tools included here. Shears, trimming scissors, buttonhole scissors, seam reaper, and thread clippers. Shears, this is for cutting fabrics only. Do not use this to cut other materials to maintain its sharpness only for fabric cut patty, cutting. Trimming scissors to uh, this is used for trimming um, fabric that ravels or even threads. Buttonhole scissors this is intended for making holes for buttons. Then thread clippers from the word itself this is to uh, to clip threads. And for the seam ripper if we have tem temporary stitches then we can easily rip out the stitch by using seam ripper. So you see, all those um, tools have different functions, different uses, and when we handle it properly, then it can contribute to, to the success of our work, our product, or our sewn garment. So the only thing we should do is um, to put them on the proper place so that when we need them the most, we can have an easy access. And also, when things are properly organized like this one, workplace like this then it will avoid us from psychological stresses so thank you so much for listening this is Rhea A. Ido saying that use specific tools for the intended job keep safe and God bless you to God be all the glory